embarrassing moment. A couple of months later, I was again at the gym trying to do squats. Now, anyone who has ever done squats, you know how it goes. Basically, you put, you put a, a barbell over your shoulders to increase the weight, and you go down on your legs like this, and then you push back up again. And that's a squat. Very simple. It becomes a lot less simple when you get all the way down, and your pants button pops. <laughs> but now, I want you to imagine this correctly. I don't want you to think about a button sort of falling down in front of me, and then I pick it up. That beauty popped with such pressure, I had to go kapoom on something on the far side of the gym. Pop quiz, you're down on your haunches with weight over your shoulders. If you stand up, your pants are going to fall down. What do you do? That wasn't my most embarrassing moment. I still wake up screaming from this one. This is the last one I'll actually tell you. I had two conferences on the same day, a lot like this one. And that means that the travel is tight between the two. You've got to get from one to the other very quickly. The first was in Joburg, the second was in Cape Town. I arrived at the Cape Town one just in time. But now, the MC is literally about to introduce me, so I have to walk into the room and start. And the IT guy at the back of the room says, don't worry, I will solve all of your problems for you. You give me the name of your presentation on your laptop. I will boot it up, I'll take my little memory stick and save it on there, I'll put it into my laptop, and you can begin. In fact, why don't you get up and start talking to the audience so long? I'll do that in the background. So I do. I get up and I start breaking the ice and chatting with this audience, and it's a setup just like this with the projector next to me, which means that the screen is behind me. I can't see what's going on. He takes his little memory stick and he saved everything from my laptop, and he plugs it into his laptop, which is live to the projector. And it's one of those memory sticks that instantly boots up everything that's on the stick. Including his full and comprehensive collection of hardcore pornography. <laughs> Problem was, I didn't notice because I was facing this way. I heard 200 people gasp at the same moment. And their eyes went as wide as saucers. So I turned around. <laughs> Two thoughts flashed through my mind at the same time. The first was, I've never tried that. <laughs> and the second one was, they're waiting for me to turn around and say something. The best I could come up with was, that's not mine. <laughs> you don't want to be anything like me. Folks, we're talking about the idea of strategically positioning your bum above the butter. Now, who here has seen that DST?